Okay, here's a, uh, it's a six foot pole, four sections. Here's a ruler here for 18 inches. And you uh, got your back end where you're hooking your rubber. I got the new joints done, so you boys have been waiting. Sorry about that. But you'd rather have me go slow and get it right versus going fast and be crappy. So I cinch them up. You use the little uh, straight knurls in here to crank on it to hold that joint together. Then if you don't use it here, you, it's you got to really work at getting it apart. So that's one reason I put those on from hand fatigue on putting poles together too many hours of the day. So anyway, uh, this is this one breaks down smaller than the two foot. I've had some of my ruffians out there uh, bend the crap out of stuff. And it wasn't the joint. Having shorter pull sections wasn't an impact. They uh, bent the middle of the tubing as they wedged the pole between rocks and fish dragging it out and all that kind of good stuff. So at least my joint was good. I figured on that, but I didn't like seeing them bend the crap out of a pole. But uh, big fish will uh, have his way of destroying anything you got out there. This is with the... Uh, uh, I use an O-ring that's a little bit compressible under there, so you can feel it. I make the pole so when you load, your hand is on this side of the pole. And if you want a little more grip, strength, you can just pull it up and grab in here. So it gives you a little bit of adjustment on the fly. Um, okay, so the front of the pole will have the joint. And then you got to buy the 3000 series pole uh, dips. And it has the same joint. So now you just screw this on here. Now you're all set with your paralyzer. Or if you're shooting lionfish or whatever your prey might happen to be. Then you can flop that off and then put your slip tip on there. And then you're ready to go. You just change them and flop them out. You don't have to stop and wrap tape and put glue and crap on here. So the other thing you can do is you'll put, uh, let me go this way, back section. Nice and organized here. You can stack the back section to this one, to this one, then to this one, then put your tips in the front. But then you can also say, hey, man, I want to get that tip out in front of me farther so I can load it this way. Put this one in front with the tip on it. So now I'll have a little less band stretch, but I got the pull 18 inch farther out front. So Options in the field when you're trying to figure out how to get that fish and when he's most likely smarter than most of you diver guys. So anyhow, this is... Uh, a 5121-6, four section, it's actually six foot without the tips. And um, there you go. So I'll put this uh, in the page for this pulse spear, and I got pictures of this to help illustrate it better. Um, okay. Anyway, the pole is not, these tips aren't part of the pole. You can buy these separately on figuring out what you want. Okay, that's it.